Services to speak on behalf of our brothers and sisters of the Uyghur Muslim community. And I'm very pleased to note that we have over two dozen members of the Uyghur Muslim community who are attending this weekend's Jalsa Salana as well. And we convey our salam to them. We invite Ms. Roshan Abbas to say a few words. It's so wonderful to see our brothers and sisters all together in a such a great occasion to celebrate our unity and the bond. I'm very honored to have the chance to speak and represent my people, the Uyghur people, here in front of this prestigious community. 35 years ago, my beloved father, Abbas Burhan, had an opportunity to meet a great man. The values they shared, the human dignity they glorified, the compassion and the empathy they both embraced immediately brought them so close together that they called each other brothers. That great man was the pride of all Muslims, Dr. Abdus Salam. The golden bridge between Uyghurs and the Jamaat Ahmadiyya was built 35 years ago. And with Allah's generous exertion, here we are connecting today. The individual freedom to choose, to choose what we believe how we believe and why we believe is one of the major achievements of the modern world. It defines our sense of liberty and the freedom of conscience that we all take for granted. Yet, now this foundation is coming under attack. This disturbing trend is clearly visible in the persecution of the Uyghur Muslims. With that passion for brotherly love and the eagerness to help the weak and the deprived, Jamaat Ahmadiyya has adopted our cause while Uyghur Muslims are facing the most unprecedented and the horrendous atrocity of our times. According to the U.S. statement officials, there are one to three million innocent, voiceless Uyghur Muslims, including my own sister, Dr. Gulshan Abbas, detained in concentration camps today. The entire Uyghur nation is facing persecution, humiliation, and the extermination. The crimes against humanity the Uyghurs are facing today under the pretext of Islamic extremism threatens all of us. The Uyghur Muslim struggle should be the concern of Muslims everywhere. The Islamic Hadith of Brotherhood says that all Muslim Ummah are one body while the Uyghur Muslims are being amputated from that body, we were left alone. Our silence will undermine what we value in our faith, in Islam, in our Holy Quran. That's why opportunities like this one to be given a platform to speak about faith and the brotherhood in such a critical time is a gift. The Jamaat Ahmadiyya showed compassion and responsibility by helping us and giving us the most precious gift of all, the light of hope. The loving outreach of God to the world has sent us here with your Jamaat. We are extremely grateful that the Jamaat of Ahmadiyya dedicated a day at the hill this year to the persecuted Uyghur Muslims. With your support, together, 
We can fight evil with compassion, courage, and conviction necessary to win freedom for the Muslims who are being persecuted on our watch today. We have been crying out for about this for years, but the world is muted. I'm running out of words to say. I'm asking you, my dearest brothers and sisters in Islam, to learn more about what's happening to Uyghurs and help now before it's too late. Please contact your elected officials to act and hold the perpetrators accountable. History will remember those who act and those fail to do so. The Uyghur people will never forget the help and the compassion of Jamaat Ahmadiyya. Thank you.